Plugged in and ready to create, this is Gaza Sky Geeks. It's an organization supported by an American charity that helps young people create computer software and run their own companies. And the companies that have started here are successful. They've sold games and software all over the world. A remarkable feat considering Gaza's lack of reliable electricity and internet. But a working environment is not the only thing Sky Geeks provides. They bring professionals to Gaza and they give lots of lessons, uh, reducing the time that we try and catch. Uh, also connect us with investors, uh, help us on travel for people who can travel. Israel's siege of Gaza severely restricts movement, but the internet has no borders, something Sky Geeks has capitalized on. Because of the, diff the unique difficulties that Gaza faces in terms of um, you know, the inability for Gazans to move in and out of uh, Gaza, uh, the internet enables uh, you know, marketplaces to be open that otherwise wouldn't be open in traditional sectors. But it isn't just Sky Geeks. This is work without borders. They help young men and women get jobs with companies across the Middle East as contractors providing computer services. They have about 25 clients, but more potential business is coming in every day. The technology sector in Gaza is small, but it is growing. The internet has given these young men and women the ability to be able to work remotely. Now, the international business community is waking up to the potential of computer literate Gazans. The manager of Work Without Borders believes it could be beneficial for Gaza. With this sector, we can create jobs for thousands of graduates with decent salaries and could potentially bring tens of millions of dollars. The unemployment rate is 40% here. Growth in any job sector is low, but the technology field could play an important role if it can be maintained and developed properly. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Gaza.